Today, I am sharing my favorite moments that were caught on camera that were meant to be heterosexual, but I viewed them through my homosexual gaze. I promise this video is not going to be as cursed as the last time I sat here in front of this blue couch and spoke words that were cursed. <laughs> How this video came about is I was watching the lesbian Twilight, the first kill, um, which is obviously a queer show. Stay with me. The show centers around two love interests, two queer love interests, and even their other relationships are giving queer vibes, okay? So I went into the show expecting Pride Month feels. I also went into it not having high expectations because, I don't know, I think I've just outgrown shows that are set in high school and have a focus on teens, but they're geared towards an adult audience. Unless there isn't a way around setting the show in a high school, I just, I don't, I'm not interested anymore. I've just outgrown the genre. I've outgrown the genre. I've outgrown the genre. Like, there's a way of doing such shows in a tasteful way. Um, and with good reason. Like, a show like Stranger Things has, like, a nostalgic setting to it, right? And although the main characters are kids, the show is definitely, like, more watchable by adults because we remember growing up in the 90s and the setting being in that way and even if they have some kind of love interest it's tasteful and it's appropriate it's not like an over sexualization of kids so for those reasons i guess i walked into first kill thinking oh gosh here we go again but i'm so deprived of queer content that i'm going to go ahead and watch anyway and i was pleasantly surprised because the show is set in the town of savannah and there's a good enough balance of teenage angst as well as like adult supervision of these kids uh, for me to stick around and watch. Having said that, I did fast forward quite a bit of the kissing scenes between the two lead love interests and rather started to create my own fantasy in the show. Otale and Omargo have such great chemistry and I felt like they just needed to f Don't say yes. And we know. I realize that the girls got off on the wrong foot, but that's nothing a glass of Chardonnay can't fix. You're not more of a Pinot girl. Huh? Maybe what does that mean, Talia? What's your secret? Sunscreen. How is next Sunday after church? Great. Yeah, sounds good. And maybe we can even get the girls to bury this, just whatever it is, huh? Yeah. Ababashi. I like you, Talia. I can already tell we're going to be friends. Friends. You think? Next Sunday. I can't wait. <laughs> They're supposed to hate each other. They're enemies. But what was that? What was it? I don't know about you, but like I found them to have a lot of chemistry way better than any other characters in the show, actually, to be honest. Um, the thing about them for me is also that they are both matriarchs. They they basically like carry and herd their families. Um, the husbands are just accessories, really. Uh, and I don't know, I love that. They're just badasses and they will fight tooth and nail for their loved ones, um, respectively. And it's hot. And I think they're just a good match for each other. So yeah, this is how this video was born. Let's move on to my next favorite lesbian scene that isn't even lesbian. I'm not doing this in any particular order. It's just whatever. Okay, the next one is... Game of Thrones, when Yara Greyjoy met Daenerys Targaryen, weren't we all dropping our panties? He would have murdered us if we'd stayed. Lord Tyrion tells me your father was a terrible king. You and I have that in common. Yara. We do. And both murdered by a usurper as well. Will their ships be enough? With the former master's fleet, possibly, barely. There are more than a hundred ships in the Iron Fleet. There are. The Neuron is building more. 
He's going to offer them to you. So why should I wait for him? The Iron Fleet isn't all he's bringing. He also wants to give you... His big c I think he said. Euron's offer is also an offer of marriage. You see, you won't get one without the other. And I imagine your offer is free of any marriage demands. I never demand, but I'm up for anything, really. <laughs> you murdered our father and would have murdered us. He'll murder you as soon as you have what he wants. The Seven Kingdom. Oh, please. How was that not... Well, I suppose I think that was specifically gay F because Yara is gay in the show. Um, so... Um, it's expected. But I don't know if the straights viewed it the same way. I was definitely rooting for her to at least remove the cobwebs from the breaker of chains as cooter. But it didn't happen. At least it happened in my head. Let's move on to the next one. The next one, I know is a little bit weird for a lot of you, for a lot of us. But I've read the fan fiction, so I know I'm not alone in this one. Um, and I saw a bunch of scenes, okay, on the show that I was like. And that's Olivia Pope and Millie Grant. Okay, let's watch. I was happy you were around too. How they lit the scene, how she's sitting on the floor with the wine between her legs. I was, with Vince, I was happy you were around how she's too. looking away. With you around, I didn't have to. I had an out. You, you were my out, Melly. You kept him unavailable. See, they started the script okay. one way, and now they've derailed. Let's move on to, there's another scene that I was like, what is this? No, wait, just, I'm sorry, that was below the, I am sorry. Please stay, sit, hear me out. I'd like you to come back and run for this re-election campaign. What? Do you remember what it was like four years ago, Liv, what we were like? Fresh and young and full of ideas. And that's not why he needs you, Melly. He needs you, Olivia. He is tired and broken and he has not the job. It's doing the job without you. He's not alive when you're not here. She's he talking about herself. Breathe when you're not here. He doesn't have the will to run, much less win when you're not here because you... You're everything to him, Liv. What Millie's saying there is, you're everything to me, Liv. Come back. I, what was the writer's room of that show doing? They know what they were doing, please. Um, that is the gayest gay gays of the gay gays. And I live for it. And also, like, towards the end of the show, um, when Olivia took the role of, um, I think, chief of staff in the White House and Millie became president, the way that they shot them, like, they were really, they were getting closer and closer and closer. Sometimes Olivia would be fixing Millie's article of clothing, but they were so close. And I was just like, Shonda. Where are you going with this? <laughs> because we can see it. The ones who have a gay gaze can see it. Um, I know it's a, a little bit weird for, for some, but yeah, definitely some of these scenes I was like, ladies, forget all these men. Just run off together. Together and be happy. And they would have been. Um, yeah, definitely watch that with a gay gaze. Next one. Okay, the next one is with Melissa McCarthy. First of all, I have a whole list on TikTok of um, the women I feel like the gay gods were sleeping on when they were born. And I don't know how Melissa McCarthy didn't make it to the list because how is she not gay? This is from a scene from The Boss. If you haven't seen that movie, please go watch it and be happy. It's like from 2016, I think. Um, but it's delicious. It's amazing. It's great. There's two specific scenes. The one scene is this one. Aha. What is your name? Helen Cregan. Oh, you know what? I think you dropped. 
something, right? You, you go for it. <laughs> I don't think you know who you're talking to. I think I do. And I think I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> I've watched this several times and it just tickles me every single time. The first time, obviously, I was on the floor. Melissa McCarthy is just, she's a queen. She's such a funny woman. I love her in everything that she does. Mose Angelo. Yes, The next one from the same movie is this fight scene that is legendary. And I feel like everyone should have seen it by now. But if you haven't, please check it out. It's when the the two teams of the scout girls are fighting. Let's just have a little glimpse. Oh, you're wrong. Oh, Helen. Well, you got a case of the old trench mouth. Did you let a corpse curl up and die in there? Second rule of business is when a stanky, hummusy <laughs> and her yeti of a daughter gets in your face, you gotta regulate. <laughs> Not regulate. Hey, give me some space. <laughs> oh. How'd that taste? Nice. <laughs> It's three minutes, 23 seconds long. Please do yourself a favor and go watch. Amazing. Super dope. All those little skull girls definitely gonna grow up to be a bunch of dykes. We all know it. I know it. You know it. We all know it. Was that not gay to you? What? Am I crazy? I don't think so. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is Kate Blanchett just existing. And the perfect depiction of Kate Blanchett being gay without being gay is her as Lou Miller on Ocean's 8 no does that mean you didn't take the money what credit do you want 15 it's too much it's three fingers from the top not one it's three vodka vodka exactly but I don't want vodka I want vodka and water what was that uh, why did she have to touch drink it tastes like vodka right when you're drunk, you're gay. We're not robbing you. We're on the phone. We're robbing you. Sorry, I don't speak Ukrainian. You know what? I am. You were there with me. Yeah, we said, come on. Do you really want to spend the rest of your life watering down well vodka? Because it's in. His new collection is like. Are you journalists? Maybe you could give her. Maybe. Not she. You can do better than that. It's called the Tucson. Who is that? Let me take it. Left hand is a tattoo. I want you to take it. Kate makes me salivate. In front of the internet. The whole internet. Do you know what? Do you know how Beyonce and Lady Gaga are the queens for the flamboyant effeminate gay boys kate blanchett is that for the lesbians period you can't argue with me how is this woman straight in what realm is she hetero there's she's gotta have some queer going on in her scrumptious when I tell you this woman is scrumped delicious, oh my god! The next one is no better. It's just a bunch of women who in real life are heterosexual, but they do gay so, so well. 
it's Robin Wright from House of Cards. Um, so I stopped watching House of Cards a long time ago. What with Kevin Spacey um, facing SA charges. I think he's appealing in the UK or something. Anyway, so I don't know. It just left a bad taste in everyone's mouth. And we stopped watching and there was uncertainty. And I haven't gone back to watch. But I remember season one and Robin Wright's uh, Claire. Claire in the in the TV show. There was this character, I forget her name because I haven't watched it in a long time. Um, she was an artist and I don't know if she was commissioning her for her work or what was going on. She was pregnant and she was sick or something. And she had just fired a bunch of people in her uh, uh, office or something. And I saw them together and I was like, mm, this chemistry. I kind of want them to have an affair. <laughs> don't worry, guys. It's confirmed. I am absolutely going to hell. This is a special place to me. I know the things that come out of my mouth are cursed. Okay. Oh, God. This is season one, right? Apparently. So I went on YouTube trying to find this specific scene. And then I found a YouTube video, like a compilation of scenes from recent seasons where Claire is being gay with another woman. I don't even know what they do on the show. But oh, my freaking God, it's two minutes of gold. You need to go watch for yourself, but let's watch a little bit on here. Okay. You see somebody grow up in front of you, and all of a sudden, that. Hmm. When she hits you with a little... I'd like you to move in here with me, Jane, into the White House. Ah, the hand-holding. What are you up to? <laughs> no, that, that's fine, thank you. I like you. I like being around you. Mm, of course you do. And sometimes that makes me less effective than I should be. Ma'am. Come keep me company while I put my jammies on. Please. My jimbos. I've had an encounter like this before. And I think it deserves a story time. Because a woman of stature. She didn't necessarily invite me to her house. I had to be there for serious reasons. And I was shooting. I hope she's not watching. Lord. Uh, because I don't know if she did this on purpose or not. A lot of people know the story, but someday I'll tell the story on the internet. But for now, for now, we keep it here. I can be cryptic about it. But anyway, I was shooting a video with her at, in her home. Her husband wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't there. And she was wearing a shirt that wasn't great for camera. Like it was strobing on camera so i asked her to change it and she said she had a, a change of a shirt nearby and then she was wearing a pink camisole underneath and it had a zipper at the back and she asked me to help her i've been through this before it's definitely this is gay okay <laughs> if anyone pulls this move on you lesbianic period anyway I'll tell the story some other day. Right now, let's watch Claire and Jane being gay for each other. <laughs> hmm. I hated that book. Long-winded for sure. But you gotta admit, she was right about everything. Hmm. Anyway, this whole thing is two minutes long. Go check it out on YouTube. The title is house of cards but it's just claire and jane being gay for each other what a perfect title <laughs> okay we've reached the end but to wrap this video up it's going to be my favorite moment on camera that was supposed to be heterosexual but it just turned out gay <laughs> it's alicia keys gay crush in kara washington's interview and then proceeding to undress her with her eyes in front of cameras I talk about today and the woman behind you oh <laughs> she doesn't know what to say. I have no idea who that is. Congratulations. Thank you. 
I know, excellent. I couldn't leave without seeing you. I will at least see ya. I think those are my top favorite lesbian moments that weren't even lesbian. Um, please let me know of your favorite. Which ones did I forget? I mean, I don't think I forgot. It's more so that I, these are my faves. But I'd like to know about your face. Um, also, I plan to do a video on the list of my favorite lesbian scenes. Um, I just wanted to start with this one first because I enjoy flipping things on their belly. Yeah, that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Video. Bye-bye video.